No indication of a terrorist attack. That's the latest from the governor of New York State, Kathy Hochul. This coming after a vehicle crash and explosion at a checkpoint on the American side of a U.S.-Canada bridge in Niagara Falls. Two people were killed. CBS News correspondent Michael George has our coverage tonight. Dramatic video shows the vehicle speeding along the roadway and launching into the air before landing and exploding on the U.S. side of the border with Canada. Authorities say the two people inside the car died in the incident that took place on the busiest travel day of the year. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist attack. But... I state the caveat that the investigation is ongoing. A preliminary federal law enforcement assessment obtained by CBS News says the vehicle hit a curb or embankment, crashed through a fence, and landed in a secondary inspection area, then caught fire and exploded. The incident the day before Thanksgiving initially raised security concerns on both sides of the border. The world is watching to find out what happened here. And again, at a time when there's such high anxiety, Stress levels are already high, and we've been on heightened alert since October 7th. Disclosing few details, New York Governor Kathy Hochul said the driver was from western New York. And then it looked like he hit the fence, and this uh, fire started, and then all of a sudden he went up in the air, and then it was a ball of fire like 30, 40 feet high. I've never seen anything like it. A Border Patrol officer was injured, but officials say he was largely protected by a security booth. The Rainbow Bridge will remain closed for now as law enforcement continues to investigate. Michael George, CBS News, New York.